And welcome back. Senator John McCain joins us live in studio now. Thank you so much for being here. By the way, Happy New Year. Thank you, Stella. Same Let, to you both. Thank you. Let's start off with the president's executive action mm -hmm. today. You say it's an abuse of power. Well, clearly it is. I mean, he's taking measures that uh, require approval of Congress. That's our Constitution. And it's not the first time he has abused it, and it's very unfortunate. Rather than trying to make proposals, have debates and votes, uh, etc., he just is ruling by edict. And I'm afraid that the next year is going to be very bad. He issued some edicts on immigration that the federal judge has ordered to stay because it's not constitutional, and that's unfortunate. Do you think that guns sold at gun shows should be registered? like other guns sold at gun stores? I think that there should be background checks, uh, and I've always uh, favored that. And uh, But as far as uh, the kind of registration, I'm not so sure that that's so important, but I've always supported background checks. Were you moved at all by the president's tears? Well, you know, I, I think the president is a very passionate man, but here we've just had an attack on the United States of America in San Bernardino, and he's blaming it on gun control. And the attack took place in the state with the most stringent gun laws in America. I wish the president had that same passion about the 250,000 Syrians that have been butchered by Bashar Assad, the Russian dismemberment of the uh, uh, country of, of Ukraine, and of course the Chinese aggression in the South China Sea. I wish he held some passion about those because they're a direct threat to the United States of America. I predicted there would be an attack on the United States of America. I'm telling you now, there will be others. Donald Trump. Need I say more? No. No. Well, the, the latest NBC poll shows that he is far ahead mm -hmm. at more than 30 percent. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I can't predict what's going to happen because I've been wrong all along, okay? It's tough to admit that sometimes, but it's true. Uh, there's a great deal of anger and dis dissatisfaction out there. Million Americans, millions of Americans have stopped, stopped looking for work. Here in southern Arizona, we have not seen a real rebound from the recession of 2008, 2009. There's a frustration with Washington, obviously, and that is bred to this new kind of element in American politics. And uh, uh, the top two are, uh, are uh, Trump and Carson are both never been. Cruz is anti-Washington. You know, Mr. Sanders came here to Tucson, as you know. You covered mm -hmm. it. He got 13,000 people came to see him. Mm -hmm. who, That's who, quite a remarkable thing. Who do you think is the best candidate? I think a number of them. My best candidate just dropped out. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, person I dearly love and think uh, knows most about national security. But I think many of them are qualified. Uh, I think Bush is. I think uh, Christie. I think Kasich. Uh, a number of them I think would be fine. What if Trump gets the nomination? Mm -hmm. Will you support him? Oh, yeah. I will support the nominee of the party. I'm a loyal Republican. I'm not saying that I think that'll be good for the Republican Party. So you are seeking a sixth term. Let's talk about mm -hmm. you. Um, what is your biggest goal in the next six, six years? National security. I'm the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. If we were having this conversation a year ago, national security, for terrorism was eighth or ninth in the American public's opinion. Now it's number one, clearly, obvious, for right. obvious reasons. Uh, I'm the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. Uh, we have a lot of work to do from keeping the A-10s at davis Monthan, which we did, which are now being used over in, uh, in Syria and Iraq, uh, to arming the military, to taking care of the men and women who are serving, to provide uh, with reforms of the f broken acquisition system. The Heritage Foundation said that what we did last year, the reforms that we did last year were the biggest reforms in 30 years. And so national security and as far as Arizona is concerned, fire and water, fire and water. Those are our challenges in the 21st century. Do you have any concerns about the possibility of your reelection? Oh, I think it, uh, in this day, my dear friend, in this day, anyone who takes an election for granted is uh, smoking something that's on the ballot. Um, it, that, th this is a very turbulent time politically. Again, look at what we were just discussing. Americans are angry. I've worked hard and I'll continue to work hard, but for me to take anything for granted would be foolish. Senator, we have 30 seconds left. VA reform the progress. 
some. Uh, the choice card has been really popular. Now we need, as you know, there's some restrictions on the use of it. If we need to do anything more, we need to do a lot more, but number one priority is to have the choice card. So every veteran has a choice of going to the VA, which can do a lot of good work in a lot of ways, or go to the local health care provider. We've got a lot of work to do, though. Senator John McCain, thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. It's great to be back. Okay. Thank you. And we'll be right back.